Hello everyone, how's it going? Want to give you a quick channel update here. There's some things I really probably should point out, so we're going to go into this real quick. First of all, we recently finished the Elder Scrolls Online playthrough. Uh, we may jump back into that. We did the Morrowind expansion. We may jump back into that, do the regular game, maybe some of the other DLCs or something. I do not know yet. For now, though, it is done. So, I wanted to point out, I'm currently doing a Let's Play of Skyrim. Modded to hell, there's like 200 mods. Fallout 4, again, modded to hell, there's about 250 or so mods. 255 plugins. I'm not going to explain the difference. And we are also doing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which at this point is blind because I never actually finished it. And we're right near the end. I think we've got one more temple left and then, you know, Ganon's castle. Spoilers, the final boss is Ganon of a Zelda game. Who would have guessed, right? So, at least I think so. Uh, so, I want to point this out. For those that do not know, I stream on Twitch almost every single day. The start time is usually 8 p.m. GMT, sometimes 8.30, sometimes 9 p.m. But, you know, if I'm late, I will tweet about it and post it on the Discord. I will also leave the Discord link in the video description for those of you that wish to join the Discord. You know, just click on the link, click the join button, whatever the hell it asks you to do. And then you will have access to the Discord, which is basically a forum for viewers of mine where you can chat with other people. There's a very cool community in there. And if anyone gets out of hand, I'll remove them. But so far, so good. And there's also some, uh, there's a chat channel in there if you want to go in, you know, play video games with other people using your microphone or whatever. But that's entirely optional. Other than that, you can just type. Uh, so... My Discord will be linked in the video description. I stream on Twitch almost every single day. So, again, I do not stream Wednesdays. I do not stream Saturdays, except when I am off work, because those are the two days that I work currently. Because, yes, I only work part-time, because, my God, if I had to work in that place full-time, I would have hung myself by now. Anyway, so, here's a couple of important things. Again, you know the start times now. Uh, just use Google to translate that into your time zone. For reference, 8 p.m. GMT is 3 p.m. Eastern. Daylight savings time not accepted because they change at different times in different countries. So, uh, there are ways of supporting me on Twitch. For those who do not know, for example, there is a subscribe button somewhere up here. You see where my mouse cursor is? I don't have it because this is my page. But somewhere up here, right here, there will be a subscribe button. You can either use Twitch Prime to subscribe to one person per month for free. Again, if you are a Twitch Prime member. And oh, look, if I type in the chat... Oh, God damn it! Hang on. I can't get rid of that message. There you go. See? Jason is a Twitch Prime member. That is the subscriber badge. It shows you that I'm subscribed to myself, even though I'm not. But I guess it kind of does that by default. And there are subscriber emotes. This is the default emote. Uh, if it ever comes out. Holy shit. There you go. It's the Justice emote. It looks so damn cool. Uh, and then we have the Victory emote and the bloody like estus flask peach water bottle emote so the way this works is there are three tiers of subscription there's the basic one for twitch prime members and 4.99 subscribers which gives you that emote there's the tier 2 which is like 9.99 and there's the tier 3 which is 24.99 do not get me wrong i don't expect very many people at all to go for the other tiers of subscriptions but they're just there if you want to you also can donate via bits as lily demon very kindly did uh once one bit is one cent so 1500 right there is 15 dollars for those who do not know and again thank you to lily she's awesome you should go check her out she streams she does a lot of stardew valley dark souls that type of thing right so uh and if you want you can go back and watch my previous streams via this uh, videos and then you go here and look these are all of the streams, blah de blah And also there will be a highlight section somewhere again, because I'm on my channel, it's confusing, but there should also be, uh, you know, as well as videos, there'll be highlights. There'll be like past broadcasts and then highlights. Highlights are what you think they are. If I highlight a stream, which often I do, I've been highlighting the Zelda streams because I haven't uploaded them to YouTube yet, so... That way, uh, basically, a VOD will be sort of cached on Twitch for about 30 days, I think. Thereabouts. So if I highlight it, it stays permanently. So what I've been doing is highlighting the Zelda streams that I kind of need to do the last couple because I've been kind of forgetful about that. But the point is I have them recorded anyway so I can check them up on YouTube. Now, speaking of which, there is a reason that content has been going up slowly on YouTube. Let me see if I can show you this. Let me bring this up on my second monitor for a second. And let me show you my... Uh, one second. Right, so this is where all of the recordings go when I record from stream. This, I don't know what the hell this is. Right, so, you see, right here, these are all of the Zelda streams. Yes, I haven't uploaded any of them yet. Eventually, I will upload those to YouTube. Now, there again, there is a reason for this. So, let's go with, um, this is the first Fallout 4 stream. 
Two hours and 35 minutes, it's 60 gigabytes. 60. Six zero. To put that in perspective for you, GTA 5 on PC, I think, is about 50 gigabytes. That file is bigger than GTA 5 by a substantial amount. So, yeah, recording in 1080p60, kind of choose up file size. And this is Fallout 4 Part 1 that went up on YouTube. Again, 51 minutes, 11 gigabytes. My upload is not great. My download is, like, pretty good. My upload is, like, 8, megabyte, 8 gigs, 8 megs, whatever the hell it is. Something like that. It is, it's slow. Uh, another example of that is right here. Look at that. This has been uploading. So you can see the time down the bottom right. It's 2 p.m. for me. This has been uploading since 11... Yeah, about 11, 11.30 a.m. This is uh, Skyrim Part 37, in case you couldn't tell from the uh, the tile there. Two hours... Th there's almost three hours left, and it's been uploading for about three hours. Yeah! So, and again, that's an hour long. That's not, you know... The whole like stream i'd love to upload the streams just as they are now the only way i could do that is um again what you can do on twitch is you can just simply uh highlight a stream and then upload the highlights straight to youtube or you just upload the whole stream to youtube so i could for example say hey i just streamed fallout 4 for three hours i want to just put up the whole three hours click and export it to youtube it would take a little bit of time but it wouldn't take anywhere near as much time it wouldn't take my bandwidth and what have you blah 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 so that's a possibility, one I may frankly have to do. Now, the only problem with that is, well, there's kind of two problems. One, that doesn't allow me to put the outro on the end of the video, and the outro is me thanking patrons, which, frankly, is pretty important to me, because without the patrons, I wouldn't be able to do this as much as I do. So, again, thank you to you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, other than that, there's also the fact that I stream in the highest quality that Twitch allows, which is 6K bitrate, 1080p 60. And I'll go into that as... In fact, let me go into that now. For those of you that do not watch my streams because uh, your internet is not great, I will tell you now. Quite often, not all the time, but quite often we do have quality options. So, for example, you will see a cog below the video. Again, if I go back over here, the cog will be down here, thereabouts. You click... In fact, this one right here. You click on this, you click on Advanced, and it should say... Um, or maybe not Advanced, but either way, you click on that cog, and then you click on, uh, like, Quality... And it will allow you to turn down the quality. So source is the highest. Then it will be like 1080p60, 720p60, 480p, etc, etc. So as long as we have quality options, which we have most of the time, you'll be able to click on that, lower the quality of the stream. It will look a bit worse, but it will actually run properly for you. So if you're in it sucks, there's a good chance you can still watch the streams. It's not a guarantee. Uh, if you show up to a stream and there's no quality options, my suggestion would be just temporarily sort of tab out, go do something else or whatever, come back in like 10 minutes or something, because by that point we may have more viewers, and the more viewers we have, uh, the more likely you are to have quality options given to your stream. That's just the way Twitch works. So, yeah. Basically, go follow me on Twitch right there. There's a follow button somewhere on my page again, because this is my page, this is not a great example. In fact, you know what, let's just use Total Biscuits, just as an example. Here you go, this will work, he's streaming, so let's mute that. Right, so, there you go, that's how you subscribe. Uh, if you are a Twitch Prime member, again, you can click that there. You can also subscribe right down there. It's normally $4.99, but right now, subs are 50% off. Uh, you can also click See More Sub Options, blah, blah, blah. This little heart right here is the follow button. It will be different on mobile, but it's even more basic on mobile. So, there you go. That's how you do it. And in fact, you know what? Let's go full, let's go full hog here. Let's go down here. Settings, quality... That's how you turn it down. So I can be like 160p. And then if I go to full screen, this should eventually, if you give it a couple of seconds, start streaming itself in 160p. There you go. Look how blurry that shit is. So that's how it works. So yeah, go follow me on Twitch. If you want, you can subscribe there. Get it a free emote. Well, not really free, but you can get an emote. You can have, you know, the warm feeling in your heart of supporting me. You can donate, bitch. You can do whatever you want. Just follow me. Go check it out. Go check the streams. Because, man... Uploading to YouTube when it takes like eight hours to upload a two-hour video is a pain in the ass. Again, at some point, I may have to just concede and just start dumping the streams on YouTube kind of as they are. It's not really what I want to do. But at the same time, you can see the backlog that is unfortunately building up here. We're up to like Skyrim Stream Part 20. I think I'm currently uploading like Part 17 or 18 or something. Again, that's not through any me wishing to fall behind on the uploading it's literally i'm trying to upload like one or even sometimes two a day and it's not quick enough because i stream a lot so yeah plus you know the upload times being massive so 
I'd suggest go check out my Twitch channel. And again, if you want to catch up with the streams, you can always just go watch the uh, watch the VODs ever here. And we do also stream some stuff uh, on uh, Twitch that we do not upload to YouTube, for example. You know, a reasonable amount of Rainbow Six. I try not to play too much on streams. I know it's not everyone's jam, but I do like that game. So, you know, we do some stuff like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I realize this was not the most professional video of all time. I was just kind of capturing my monitor, but... You know, what do you want from me? I'm just trying to give you information. This wasn't supposed to be highly edited. I'm going to put text on the screen and be laugh out loud funny. Like PewDiePie. Not that he's laugh out loud funny. He's just a bloody racist. Current events. Anyway, thank you for watching. Good night, everybody. And goodbye.